Okay, Albert Gonda here. I am talking to Rob Dinopoli. Nephew Anderson Emerson. Dinopoli. About Dinopoli Grand Tomatoes. How are you guys doing today? We're good. Day number three, last day. All right. Then we pack up and go home to Northern California. Awesome. Get ready for the pack. <laughs> I understand you have some new products, Rob. Last time we talked, you uh, explained the whole history of Dinopoli yeah, Tomatoes. I, I just got to ask I'll myself. link that here in the video. But tell me about your new product. You know, you've got a new. Well, this year, yeah, Albert, this year we focused on retail. Um, you know, we've had a great run, a lot of support with the food service community, but we found a lot of artisan pizza makers inspired by their favorite pros that are now out in the industry with the, with the Uni, Gosney ovens and making really good pizza at home. So we decided to uh, address their needs. And the food service items now we're packing in small retail sizes, so you can use in your backyard or in your kitchen making pizza. So we've got a couple of them right there. Uh, Emerson, you want to show them? The yeah, sure. So we, about that. we just came out with this brand new New York style pizza sauce, fully organic, all California ingredients, very lightly spiced. So this is a pureed tomato, garlic, salt, basil, or uh, no basil, er, there's a basil, excuse me, and olive oil. So very light, still very malleable. You can still go and take, you know, add whatever you like to it, red chili flake, anything, but um, great product for home pizza use. It comes in a pack of eight, available on Amazon. We also just came out with a uh, smaller version in a squeeze pouch. So this is an eight ounce, uh, same formula, same ingredients, and um, yeah, this is kind of more for uh, single use. So, you know, good for the uh, the uni community, Gosney, if you have a smaller oven and you want to make, you know, one or two pies, perfect for that. Okay. Hey, it's got Chris Bianco's name on top. That's Does right. Does that mean he helped develop it? He did, yeah. He used the uh, the formulator of the uh, the recipe, and so we, you know, we relied on the, uh, the professionals to, you know, kind of uh, give us what what, uh, you know, what formula would fit best for, uh, you know, a good pizza application, you know, using our California tomatoes. Okay, so that sounds fantastic. Yeah. And I, it's, it, I know it's been a hit. I've heard about it before. I know people have tried it. I can't wait to give it a shot myself on my own. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, we'll give you a couple of them, but, uh, you know, they are available on Amazon. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we've gotten some good feedback so far, but we're anxious to hear from uh, the rest of the community. Oh, that's great. I'm going to put a link below this video. Oh, so thank you. you. Can purchase it right through Amazon. That's really fantastic. appreciate it. That's yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, so you've got the single for the home pizza maker, then you got cans. What's the difference between the can and the... Uh, just the size, really. I mean, you're going to get a little bit more out of this. Maybe you get about four or five pies out of this one, right? So, um, you know, maybe you've got uh, maybe get a little bit bigger of a party or, you know, hey, if you want to just make one, pop it in the oven and you're good to go for, you know, one or two pies. But, uh, yeah, the same formula, essentially. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. So it's blended together. Yes. Uh, you know, I love Bianco Dinopoli. I use them on a lot of my pizzas. Fantastic. The whole tomatoes or the crushed tomatoes are my favorite. Okay. I really love, love how it tastes. Well, then I think you'll like this one. Okay, so you guys are doing well. The other question is, I notice you got a big can here. Is yeah. that available? Can I take one? Of, can I put one of those? This in my guy, backpack? oh man, you you know, it, <laughs> this was a special gift from uh, from Matt Lyons at Tribute Pizza. He's uh, he's a wild man. He surprised us with this, and uh, yeah, there's a secret formula in that one. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly tomato based, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. I mean. Let's face it, the, uh, the history of Dinopoli is just incredible. Well, yeah, the majority of the history is standing right here. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. No, we've been, Albert, we've probably been coming here since for 30 years now. I remember when it was in downtown in the old section of Las Vegas. So without exception, we've spent uh, spent many times. My father came here with me originally. Now I'm here with my nephew. So, yeah, we are a tradition. But we are introducing new products, and uh, we want to stay on top of things, address the needs of the new consumers that this expo attracts each year. Right. Uh, we also came out with this bag in a box, which is kind of fun. It's it's uh, six number ten can sizes, all in a uh, in a flexible bag. 
You open them up, tear the top off, and pour it out. So we've got this available in the retail size that Emerson just showed you, and also have it in a marinara sauce, which is basically the same formula, just a little bit of onion, sautéed onions. Okay. Can you tell me the difference between marinara and the tomato sauce? I, I could, but I would then have to uh, dispose of you, Albert. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> no, it, it, it's funny because it's, you know, when we talk about the ingredients, they're really all very similar, right? They're, it's a good olive oil, some garlic, maybe some onion if you choose, and basil and salt, and of course, a great tomato. So it's just the proportions, and I, I, I think you could use the, it, the marinara on the top of your pizza and vice versa. Uh, the pizza sauce would go good because it's just five simple ingredients from our California neighbors. Okay, the, the other question is, with this Bianco Dinopoli, the food, it's organic. It is. And I don't have to do anything. I just use it directly out of the can. I don't have to spice it up, no salt. Yeah. Well, you know, Albert, you can uh, use it out of the can, and that's how we suggest you do it. But it doesn't preclude you from sprinkling some uh, good Mediterranean uh, uh, um, oregano on it. Uh, you might do some red peppers or even black pepper, shake some black pepper on it. So we left it simple. So if you want to use it simple, fine, but we don't want to preclude anybody from uh, shopping, fill your basket, mushrooms, uh, more onions. So that's what we, we can't take it out. So so we don't want you to have to take anything out, but feel free to add a little something if you want. You know, I want to also ask you, uh, Robin Emerson, about your relationship with the fire within. Well, we didn't. Oh, about Ajit and his... University. We love that organization. They're not only uh, showing people how to make a great pizza, but actually how to survive in this pizza business. So they're they're talking about uh, business as well as making a great pie. Uh, but each year they've at, they have allowed us to to um, select a pizza maker that is interested in learning more and going into the pizza business. They want to be an entrepreneur and they've allowed us to reach out to our following on Instagram and uh, solicit an attendee. And we do that twice a year and we have a lot of fun with it and Ajithan is, um, and his staff have just been great and we get letters back and followers that have uh, uh, taken what they've learned and successfully entered the pizza business. It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful organization and what they do to teach people about this incredible business. They certainly are. Hey Rob, hey Emerson, thanks for talking to me, but wait, what else is new coming down the pipe for Dinopoli? Wow. But, you know. <laughs> it just, you know, we usually get together after this expo as a group, and it's a very small group. We talk about what we heard um, the, the attendees tell us what they want. So the, I, we're going to group, you know, about four or five of us will be getting together and talking about what we learned and what the industry might need for next year. So it's up in the air, Albert, and next year, if you're here, God willing, you'll you'll take a look and see what we learned and what we offer. That, that's fantastic. Group. Rob and Emerson, tell us how people can find Dinopoli tomatoes, where they can buy them. You know, believe it or not, I can find Dinopoli, Bianco Dinopoli, in Hawaii, which is amazing. I love right, that. I love, and I love end user calls there, too. <laughs> believe me. If you need us there, yeah. Emerson and I will battle to see who's going to make that call. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you want to take a shot at yeah, that? Yeah, you know, if you're a food service operator, you know, link up with us, reach out to us. We'll help you out in finding, you know, the closest distributor within reach to you. If you're a home pizza chef, uh, you can do the same thing too. We'll, you know, we'll do our best to respond to everybody. But for the most part, Amazon or Fair.com, you know, kind of a new one that we're, uh, we're fulfilling direct to consumer with. Um, but yeah, you know, the best thing to do really is just kind of reach out to us and we'll, we'll get back to you and we'll help you out. I love you guys. I love your company. Yeah, yeah they're not keep boss, doing what you do. Thanks, Albert. Thank, thank you for spending time with me. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks, thanks for spending time with us. Yeah, appreciate you. Ciao. <laughs>